<laughs> Ella, what? every time you open up chocolate cake, <laughs> it makes a noise. Listen. By the way, if you'd like a free copy of our family travel guide to Copenhagen, just go to topflightfamily.com slash cph. Hello, we are in the car on our way to the airport. <laughs> and where are we going, Sean? Copenhagen. Copenhagen. But we're in Jersey now. Yes. All right, we are in the SAS lounge right now at Newark Airport, and don't worry, I'll get you in a second, Ella. Hey, cookies. So, Ella, mm -hmm. like the food? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Cookies. 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 Cucumbers. <laughs> All right, we are on the plane. I just want to give a little wrap up about the lounge. Um, so we are flying premium economy and access to the SAS lounge in Newark Airport is complimentary, is included. And the lounge was great, um, but the only thing was that it was pretty crowded. And this is our first time flying the airline, so I can't really say if that's kind of a normal thing or just happened to be, you know, really busy when we went there but we are flying out on a Wednesday afternoon and we were at the lounge uh, from about like 4 to 5 p.m. and we hardly could find a place to sit. So that was kind of surprising. Um, but as far as the lounge itself, it's really nice. Um, really nice sort of typical Scandi uh, design decor. Um, the food selection was pretty solid, a really nice salad bar. Um, there was some, some hot food. Uh, they had meat uh, lasagna with meat sauce, which was uh, really good, actually. I really enjoyed it. And then in terms of hot food, they also had a soup. Um, the soup I didn't really love that much. Was I think it was like a chipotle sweet potato soup. Um, but they have a nice bar, um, lots and lots of wine, which made me happy. And um, they have beer on tap, and they also have uh, water, um, uh, both still and sparkling water uh, on tap, which is great and very useful when you want to fill up your water bottle for the flight. So yeah, all in all, um, we're impressed so far. We are in the SAS Plus section, which is basically the airline's premium economy section. And um, the service has been great. I think it's kind of like a very friendly, um, but in an understated way, uh, kind of a vibe, which I enjoy. And um, seats are very roomy, lots of leg room. And yeah, we're about to take off. So let's see how this flight goes. So we checked into our Airbnb and we were all exhausted because uh, we arrived in Copenhagen at basically like 2 or 3 a.m. New York time. So all of us just took a nap and um, I'm going to show you a little tour of the Airbnb we rented. It's definitely really nice, definitely um, recommend this one. Uh, it's a little bit outside of the city, um, but it's also right next to the train, so it's really, really easy to get in and out. Okay, here is our Airbnb. Um, this is actually a triplex apartment, so there are three levels. The main level is the kitchen, dining, living area. Please excuse our stuff all over the place. And let me show you downstairs. So downstairs, there are actually two beds. Um, 
but we're only using one of them. So Serge and I are staying down here. This is the bathroom that Serge is showering there, so I'm not gonna show you that. So yeah, this is the downstairs area. So there's a nice big king bed, iconic egg chair, classic Scandi design. And then there's another bed here, excuse my clothes. I'm kind of using it as a closet right now. And uh, nice big windows. Uh, we've got the blinds drawn right now, but it's a really nice view. And then it's separated by this bookcase, which again is my impromptu closet. So let me show you the upstairs. So as you can see, there's a staircase here and um, there's a loft up there. Again, excuse our clothes. We're just using that as a closet since there's not a lot of space to put our stuff. And up here is a nice loft. There's a great big desk area and with really nice views of the outside and a queen bed here. My babies are still sleeping. Wake up, babies. Wake up. It's time to go get lunch. It's time to go get lunch. All Dude. right, so we are heading out to get some lunch. And so uh, <laughs> yeah, we're very hungry. And when we were we sleeping, always eat. and when we were sleeping in the bed, um, it was it didn't even get to nighttime. And it was the next day. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> same day. We are at the gasoline grill. Uh, we're basically doing the, uh, what's that show called? Uh, feeding Phil, I think. Uh, somebody feed Phil somebody itinerary feed Phil. in terms of food. So this place is really known for its burgers, um, especially one called a butter burger, uh, which sounds really good. I'm getting a butter burger. <laughs> All right, so we just had burgers at the gasoline grill. So this is the first thing we ate when we got here. Uh, sounds like the person that owns this place uh, moved to New York, oh, sorry, not New York, moved to the US and uh, fell in love with burgers and came to Copenhagen and decided to make a really, really cool burger place. And the cool thing is it's in a gas station. So uh, the burgers are really good. What do you think? That was excellent. So yeah, you lived in Jackson Hole, right? Yeah, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And Yo, then um, decided to uh, fell in love with burgers like us and uh, came here and made a really cool burger. Very solid. What do you think? Delicious. Delicious. I mean, pink time. <laughs> I know, but there's literally a dog right there. It's alive! Daddy's go inside. Daddy, it's your favorite kind of dog. Oh my god, look, okay. it's okay. okay, you can go look at the dog. Don't freak out, Ella. Okay, so we are taking a canal tour right now, yep. and uh, it's really nice. And I thought it would be, feel a lot colder than it does, but it doesn't really feel windy at all. No, it's perfect. It's really nice comfortable. Day. Yeah, really comfortable. Market, getting some supplies, some groceries for dinner tonight. Let me show you what we got. Of course, Ella managed to find the candy section in the supermarket. Ella, what? You found the best part? Yes. Yes. And <laughs> let me show you the candy that I got. 
Can you hold this up? Thank you. <laughs> I got you unicorn gummy. Look at that unicorn. Do you see that unicorn? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. So, we made dinner. It's a little simple frozen tortellini and some salad. And, um, yeah, we're just chilling out having dinner now. Yep. Yeah. So comfy. Mm. Mm. That is mine. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> These are no, hard yeah. mushrooms. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. Oh, the gummy had got are so sour. They're sourer than the crybaby gum. Good morning. We're eat, making some breakfast here. Got the bacon going. Vineyard vines in Copenhagen. <laughs> yes, they got their vineyard vines Christmas pajamas from last year. Mm -hmm. And. Breakfast of Champions, Cocoa Pops. But from last year, we got um, a Wendy. A what? Um, we got um, one of those things um, that covers your whole body, and then here it has a zipper. Mm. A Give me one Oh, onesie. Okay. She said a Wendy's. We are off to the experimentarium, which is like a really cool science museum kind of thing. Um, I've checked out the website, it looks really fun for kids, so uh, yeah, hopefully we'll like it. The spider! Guys, it's the spider! Alright, we found it! It was a little hard to find, right Ella? When we got off the bus, there wasn't a lot of signage. Um, but we're here at the experimentarium. Oh. <laughs> cool. So weird. Show me the huge squish. Oh my god. Biggest one ever. Look at this thing. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so we were going to eat at the restaurant in the experimentarium, but... <laughs> They were out like of sandwiches, <laughs> and apparently it would take at least a half hour for them to half make more. Half freaking hour to so make sandwiches. The food situation is a little weird there, um, <laughs> but luckily there's a mall right next door, and uh, we're gonna go there, I guess, food right first, eggs. so that we can power up to explore the experimentarium. Yeah! 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 Science! Whoa! Yeah, we're crossing the street. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs>
Okay, go all the way in. Hey, so we just finished eating hot dogs. Well, mm -hmm. they're still eating from Dup, Dup, not sure how you say it. Um, hot dog stand here at Noraport. <clears throat> Noraport, excuse me. It was really good. So me and Serge had the traditional Danish hot dog, which is um, with like fried onions and fresh onions and pickles on top and really good uh, ketchup. Yeah, it's really good. which was built in the 17th century and it was originally built as an observatory. And basically the whole thing, um, you go up like, just like imagine one huge spiral ramp all the way up to the top of the tower. It's pretty cool. Hey Ella, that water's safe? Okay. Awesome. Whoa. You can see all the way down? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get off now. Ella. Oh, you're hiding? Just, can you say, um, can, I was using the bathroom. Okay. No, they don't have Danishes here. No, he, when you come here, you gotta say, I need a Danish. No, don't say that at all. Say, I want a pastry. What, what is it called here? It's a not pastry, a not a... <laughs> it's a Danish. You say my father's gonna suck it! You hear me? Say my father's YouTube how much daddy loves chocolate cake. He would kill his wife for a life Jeez. supply of it. Oh my god. That's yo, not true. Yo, bro, yo, bro. <laughs> uh, it's not true. Maybe like a little bit he less exaggerated. Okay. He would give up his Apple Watch and his iPhone X for chocolate oh, okay. cake. Alright, that's some more reasonable. Good morning. Good morning. We're on our way to the canal. We're gonna do a little family photo shoot. Yeah. And and then we're gonna try and head to the palace after that. Hopefully we'll have enough time. Oh. Hi, how are you today? Good. Good? Just had some water. We're feeling better, right? Not really. Okay, say bye. bye. So we finished our photo shoot and we are on our way to the palace. Uh, hopefully we'll get there in time to see the changing of the guards. Good. Think. 
Well, you should totally apply for a job. I know, I'm so you good be the at first that woman one. To job. <laughs> we'll break all the records. First woman, first non Danish. <laughs> Okay, so what did you think of the changing of the guards at the palace, John? Really boring and extra. Yeah, there was a long time where they were just nothing staring happened, at each other for like a half hour. It was pretty cool at first, but I think we just didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, and then the palace was cool, right? When we went inside uh, the museum? It was okay. There's, there's room for improvement. Oh, hello, hello. Alice coming. Hey, we're talking about the palace and the changing of the guard. What did you think? A little bit. A little. Oh, what? Well, why is Daddy trying to get him? No, it's only ladies. It's only ladies time. Okay. Anyway, we're on our way to lunch now. Oh, it's good. It's very pepperminty. It's very uh, like clears your, your palate out. But the fish is good. It's the first time I'm having herring, and it's pretty good. in the apartment. Ella, why yeah. do you love picking up rocks so much? Because I lose them and then I, and then other people find it. And then they it was like, whose rocks are these? And then, and then when I come to the place, they're like, Elsa's magic out there. Like, My rocks. My rocks. You hear me? You hear me? back at the apartment having some dinner a little frozen pizza action mm -hmm. some salad is good else <laughs> i love it yeah. what you got there sean i got sticker oh nice stickers 
And remember, oh yeah, after dinner you guys should put your uh, new Copenhagen stickers on your suitcase. Yes, mm. me too. <laughs> We are at Super Keelan Park, which is this really cool park designed by one of Denmark's top architects. And we actually saw this place on that show, uh, Somebody Feed Phil, and thought it was super cool. So we came to check it out for ourselves. Tell me about it. How does it taste? Well, I just tasted Nutella. That, that's their Nutella in this. That looks like Nutella. That looks like Nutella. And it tastes like Nutella. Okay, we are waiting for the train. And we just had lunch at Grod. Grud. My Danish pronunciation is not very good, but it's a place that's known for its porridge. So what did you think, Serge? Really good. Uh, that's what Serge is fine. Yeah. The kanji was really good. It was like a Chinese style with chicken in it. Chinese inspired. <laughs> and then it had this thing called All In, which is uh, porridge with bananas, apples, uh, chocolate, Ooh. Goji berries, I think. Mm. Yeah, it looks um, like it. Chocolate. Uh, chia seeds. Pretty healthy. Really, really good. It wasn't too expensive either. Yeah, the flavors were really good. Um, the kanji I actually liked a lot, even though it's not obviously Chinese kanji, but the flavors were somewhat similar. And the rice, or I guess it's probably not rice, whatever, the porridge was very much infused with like that chicken flavor, which is the mark of good kanji when you order it at a Chinese restaurant. So really good um, then we also had a good time at super keelan park um, which is a park that's designed by a pretty famous danish architect and apparently that whole neighborhood used to be kind of one of the rougher parts of copenhagen and ever since that park came along it's kind of brought a lot of like brightness and color um, to an area that was otherwise i guess a little bit less cheerful so yeah the girls had a good time playing there as well I did it. Getting Look, a new hairdo from Sean and Ella. I braided her hair. I don't I know do how to <laughs> We are on our way to the Louisiana oh, Museum of Art. And for some reason, Ella thinks there's going to be horseback rides there. <laughs> no, Ella. horsey. Not usually horsies at the uh, <laughs> art museum. It's not a fair. Um, there could be something about horses and about some good piggy rides. What? Piggy back. <gasps> I saw an ice cream shop. Oh my god, that's a big puddle. Probably no horses and no pigs. <laughs> of my non-self portrait. <laughs> Ella, what you making? Ice cream. Move your body. No!
So we just finished at the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art and it's really, really nice. Definitely recommend it. Um, just know it is definitely a trek uh, to get here, uh, both in terms of how like just sheer mileage uh, we had to take like a couple different trains to get out here and then there's also a really long walk <laughs> from the train station to the museum uh, so be forewarned but highly recommend it it's definitely worth the trip um, especially if you're traveling with kids um, it's a beautiful facility it's interesting because it's like in the middle of this residential neighborhood from the outside it just looks like a house and doesn't really look like it's a museum <laughs> but once you go inside it's actually huge um, it's sort of like I guess it's kind of like a big loop and there's really beautiful landscaping outside um, half of it is glass so it's got that indoor outdoor feel and there's a huge uh, children's wing where there are three different floors of activities where kids can do hands-on um, art projects everything from drawing to painting to working with clay uh, there's a big Lego section so it was really fun we spent the whole afternoon here and the girls loved it so definitely check it out oh one more thing definitely plan to eat either lunch or dinner at the cafeteria here because it's stunning right oh man it's beautiful it's stunning. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like floor to ceiling glass windows that's overlooking uh, the water in the back of the museum. So um, it's really like a really, really beautiful place to eat. Magic chick! Hold on! A one, a two, a three! <laughs> learned something cool so you know how earlier I was joking with Serge that he was buying Danishes and he was like no you can't call it a Danish when you're in Denmark so it turns out that Danishes are not even Danish did you guys know that they're actually they were invented in Austria and here they don't call it a Danish they call it Austrian bread so that's pretty cool Psh, mind blown So we're in this really cool place called Bounce Inc. And it's a, when we came in, I thought it was just like a bouncy place, um, but it's actually, they have like a full parkour course. They even have a full Ninja Warrior course. And because we're here on a Monday, back home it's Columbus Day, which is a holiday. But here, obviously that is not a holiday. So the girls basically have this whole place to themselves. It's pretty awesome. So Sean is in heaven right now because they actually have a whole Ninja Warrior course here. Check it out, they even have the lily pads. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. 